Hi everyone, it's your engineering gal Amy and as I mentioned in my last video, one of our goals on this channel is to provide more information about engineering, what it is that engineers do, and how it impacts people's day-to-day -day life. And today, I will be talking about civil engineering. Civil engineering is one of the many types of engineering such as electrical, chemical, and mechanical. And since the civil field is so broad, I'm going to break it down into its different focuses. Let's begin with the definition. Civil engineering deals with the design, construction, and maintenance of the physical and naturally built environment, including public works such as roads, bridges, dams, pipelines, sewage systems, buildings, and railway. Now if we break down civil engineering into its different aspects, under the umbrella of civil engineering we have transportation, water resources, environmental, geotechnical, structural, and construction. To get a better understanding of what this entails, I'll be breaking up each subdivision and I have also included links as resources in the description box. So let's get started with transportation engineering. Transportation engineers focus on designing transportation systems such as highways, rail, bridges, bike and pedestrian traffic. They do this by analyzing traffic data, identifying problems, and solving them with innovative solutions on ways of improving mass transportation. Some of the coursework you'll find yourself taking would be surveying and mapping, learning about the various modes of transportation on land, air, and water, traffic engineering, highway design, and materials. Next, we have hydrology and water resource engineers. Hydrology engineers design equipment and systems for water resource management such as dams, channels, water systems, and sewage systems. Water resource engineers ensure that citizens are provided with a continuous supply of clean, uncontaminated water for drinking, living, and recreational purposes. So in this field, you'll find yourself taking classes in hydraulic design, fluid mechanics, understanding how contaminants flow underground, water treatment, and water resource management. Now, depending on which university you go to, environmental engineering could be offered as a focus under civil engineering or be offered as its own degree. Environmental engineering involves sustainable design for the control and protection of the environment and its resources. They design systems for water quality, wastewater treatment, hazardous management, and treatment and control of air pollutants. Courses in environmental engineering include learning about the physical, chemical, and biological processes that affect the air and water quality. Geotechnical engineering is very interesting as it deals with assessing slope stability and the risk of landslides, rockfall, and avalanches. It is also considered when designing structures, buildings, dams, basically the soil that you will be building the structure on. Courses in geotechnical engineering involve the identification, classification, strength, and compressibility of different soils, which also includes building retaining walls, slope stability, and how different geotechnical projects undergo earthquakes. The structural branch in civil engineering focuses on the framework of structures to withstand the pressures and stresses from the environment and remain safe, stable, and secure throughout their use. In other words, structural engineers ensure that buildings or structures themselves don't collapse or fall. The structural systems include wood, steel, concrete, masonry, from which the engineer selects beams, columns, and other members that make up the support of the building. If we compare it to a human body, it's like designing the skeleton so the body can support its weight and other forces that act on it. Classes in structural engineering focus on the materials that you'd be using to build these structures and the analysis of trusses, beams, and frames. You can also take more classes in reinforced concrete, timber design, structural steel design to get more competitive within the field. And last but not least, construction engineering. The purpose of construction engineering is to build in the most safest, sustainable, and efficient way possible. Construction engineering management oversees the project's time, cost, safety, and quality of work. Courses include learning design fundamentals, construction materials, and project and construction management. You might have noticed already that all of the subdivisions under civil engineering overlap one another. Let's say you're planning on developing a skyscraper. You'll have to work with all of the engineers to develop and construct this skyscraper. The first type of engineer you would work with is the environmental engineer, which would evaluate the impact of your skyscraper on the environment. As a result, write an environmental impact report. This report would be required for the design and construction of any project. 
Then you would need a geotechnical engineer to analyze the soil properties of the land and the structural engineers would then design the structural stability of the skyscraper. And you would also need a parking structure with the skyscraper so then you would involve transportation engineers. The skyscraper will also need connections to drinking water and sewer systems which brings in your water resource and hydrology engineers. Finally, after developing all of the designs, you would need to hire a construction manager to oversee the construction of your skyscraper. Civil engineering is very broad and it might be difficult to choose which focus to go into. I would recommend doing your own research and looking to see what schools have to offer. In this video, the goal was to provide a general understanding of what engineers do, but there's no way I could have covered everything. So make sure you guys do some research and maybe take some introductory courses to see what kind of engineering you like. When I was trying to decide what major to study, I enrolled into a class called An Introduction to Engineering. It really helped me figure out what I was most interested in. So I really hope this video helped break down what civil engineering entails of and what those different focuses are under civil engineering. If you liked this video and you want to see more videos talking about different types of engineering, then give this video a thumbs up. And as usual, to be notified of our upcoming videos, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And most importantly, comment below on any topics that you would like us to cover on this channel. Thanks for joining and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!